Thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate it. I think it was wonderful to hear Dr. Devishetty and my known for a long time, very innovative. And I think that is very inspiring as well. So to be very quick, I think uh, <clears throat> I won't take too much time. We are <clears throat> towards the end of the session. So it's important to note that, uh, you know, I, I have seen IV cap right from the day when, uh, you know, it was in the conceptual stage. And what really attracted me, uh, you know, to IV cap was its ethos and the emotional connect because we wanted to not only do good, but also share whatever we get out of it. And I think with Alma Matters and IIT alums and everybody, you know, and uh, even though I've not been an IIT grad, lots of friends have made me feel that I'm part of IIT and even Pan IIT I've attended a number of times. It's been wonderful. And if I may put it in this way that, uh, you know, IV actually is the name of the plant here, all of you know, it symbolizes fidelity. It doesn't let go something that it is attached to, you know, and it is green forever, right? I think, and the way in which IV cap is growing, it's so exciting. I believe the next, I do not have too much of time to speak, but I think the next phase of IV cap's life would be to make everybody's life better. And um, in the process, look to the future. What are the new technologies that are coming up? How do you work around that? What are the new business models coming up? One of the models that even as a lawyer, I know is, uh, it's called regulatory entrepreneurship. Today, number of businesses which have really, um, you know, ushered in the top league, they have created huge value on the regulatory framework. And if you look at, David Shetty mentioned about Airbnb, Uber, and all those, look at what are those models? They are, they are called, actually, there's a paper return on regulatory entrepreneurship. And it says that, you know, new age entrepreneurs are creating a lot of value playing on the gray areas of law for the benefit of the people, okay? And uh, in the process, Uber, for example, they looked at taxi rules. There were ambiguities and when they were prepared to pay fines and stuff like that, they played on that, but created a new market for the taxi users, you know. Similarly, Airbnb, refer, reference was just made by Dr. Devishetty. Shetty. It doesn't have any house, nothing else of the sort, but they played on the rental ambiguities, you know, the laws ambiguities. Similarly, Drafts King, a lot of those kind of businesses have really, Amazon, for example, the marketplace model that came up, okay? So there are many things that can be done. So as a lawyer, one of the things I would want to suggest that you can create a lot of value, understanding the future of law along with the technology and <clears throat> new, bring new businesses to the whole thing. Second part, I would think that today, no business can remain only a business. It has to really, imbibe in it the ESG factor, which again, I know IV Cap is already actively looking at. I think ESG is a new value creator. And of course, today we don't have time, but we'll be happy to speak some point in time. Similarly, you know, <clears throat> climate change, we've been talking about the awareness has suddenly grown so high that I, we have been seeing number of climate uh, change funds that are coming up, uh, you know, we are setting up. Um, so to look at the society at large will be another angle from which, you know, the new value creators will emerge. And um, I think uh, 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 as far as the combination of new technology, new um, social and uh, environmental and governance issues that are coming up, I think they are becoming increasingly... Today, more companies don't die of <coughs> profit of loss, but more of ethical issues. And um, I think it is very important to bear in mind that when we have the portfolio companies or the <coughs> our own behavior, I think that is going to really, you know, survive on the fact that it's just not about profit, it's about a lot many other things. And um, I think these are some of the immediate thoughts that I have uh, and IV cap has been 
very dynamic. Every time I call up Vikram, and he sometimes must be thinking that I'm bothering him. And, uh, but I always give him some ideas and say, okay, let's do this, let's do that. And he's always willing to listen. And I think whole IV Cap family has been very exciting journey. The kind of things that you've done so far, I think has already put you into what is called a fund unicorn space, I understand. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, I wish uh, uh, they continue. Uh, I think I have finished my time, but um, let me ask Ashank. I think Ashank, you've done a great job, I think, and would love to hear your thoughts. And maybe we can spend a couple of minutes here and there to interact. <coughs> but um, uh, we need separate sessions some point in time <coughs> to have more elaborate discussion. But I think I so excited and last session with Dr. Devi Shetty was very inspiring. In healthcare, there is huge role to be played. And uh, with the, <clears throat> and I've seen at Cisco's Experience Center, how do you combine IoT with healthcare and how do you imbibe new business models and stuff like that? It would be very, very interesting to actually work on that. That's become top priority for all of us post pandemic. And um, I'm sure together we'll create a better world for tomorrow together. Uh, thank you very much. <clears throat>